Okay. It's been a while since we've done one of these things. So we're going to try and get this in under 10 minutes. So, uh, and we're recording this for YouTube as well. So go on to the, the High Ground podcast. Just look for the Clapper board logo. So, uh, you know, you've been watching a lot of, you go for the MCU now, aren't you? Yeah, I've finished it. Finished it? You're yeah, I finished it in finished. like a week and a half. I'm, well, I'm, doing, I'm doing it like in, uh, in uh, order, you know, in timeline order. Oh, so, right, okay. That's so, interesting. So we just done Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 just back to back. So it's, you know... I say, to be fair, though, I've been shielding, so I had the chance to just watch them every day. You've still been working. Yeah, I've been watching Game of Thrones. I want to get that out of the way, and I have got it out of the way. Check out our podcast on Game of Thrones. That's a little uh, plug for that. So after watching them all in just one and a half weeks, so what did you actually think of on that? Oh, no, I think I, I, I appreciate them even more now, knowing... I think now because you have the whole playlist after the Infinity, the Infinity Saga is wrapped now, isn't it? So I, it's it's great to just binge them all. One, you know, Iron Man to Spider Man, far far from home, is it? Far from home, yeah. yeah. Cause, I thought uh, the titles mixed up for those. It's uh, it's uh, it's far from home. Uh, sorry, it's homecoming, far from home, and no way home. Is it? Just coming yeah. up, phase four. Uh, did you watch? Uh, did you watch the Spider Man movies in with them? Did you watch the two Spider Mans? Yeah, yeah. Um, I had. I mean, I've got them on Blu Ray anyway, so I had to switch the Blu Ray at that point because they're not on Disney Plus, are they? No, I. I've got them digital, so I'm able to go straight to that. Do you watch Incredible Hulk? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. When sometimes when I do a rewatch, I miss that out though, because it's kind of the one you can miss out and not notice. I like it because it's got. I do like it. Yeah, yeah. It's just. I mean, it doesn't. It's only the end credits that kind of make it feel like an MCU film anyway, isn't it? And Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I mean, you could go into the Avengers and just think that's the first time you've seen the Hulk, couldn't you, really? Yeah. But I, you know, I, 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 I like the Incredible Hulk. It's, it's uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm so, I'm glad. I'm a bit annoyed that, uh, that Black Widow's not, uh, get it while it's going to disney plus because i think that you know that would be a good uh, thing just for cinemas and yeah. bring the bring a lot of trade back to cinemas because a lot of people will go and pay out just to to uh, watch it but i can understand in the climate but i just hope that disney stop doing i know that is the way things are going but especially with hbo max doing it with their stuff as well but you know there's nothing like seeing these movies at the cinema. I'm, I'm lucky I've, I've been able to see all of the MCU at the cinema. And I'm glad Black Widow is still getting a cinema release. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, so what's been your highlight of watching them? Um, well, Guardians is probably my favourite Marvel film, but I think I was quite pleasantly surprised that I actually didn't... I actually didn't sort of hate Captain America the first Avenger as much as I used to I used to think it was kind of the dud in phase one but like re-watching it I I actually really like Captain America as a character now and I think like it'd be impossible to not have that film there because he's kind of like the linchpin of, of everyone else isn't he like he he is unquestionably the leader and it's nice to see him like start as a character and see how he becomes who he is so yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised that my opinions changed a bit on that film. Now, I have got a soft spot for the book of Captain America. So when I watched it first time, I really liked the character because yeah, he is. He he, he, has, he has the best arc out of all the other characters, I think, because it, it's like a kind of an arc that won me over to him as a character. That and Tony. Yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of always a Tony fan, but it was nice to sort of switch to, you know, in Civil War, I was this time I was kind of like. Tony, you're a dick. <laughs> oh, leave Cap alone. I like uh, I like the, the this bit in uh, Endgame where uh, Tony brings the shield back to the, yeah because it's sort of like and how ultimately they're a estranged family from Civil War up to uh, Endgame yeah and and even at, in, even at the start of Endgame Tony still has a problem with uh, Steve. 
but when the family comes back together it's like a, a a really emotional moment for the audience because you may have your differences with the characters but ultimately and I, and I just think that marvel in terms of world building and it's superb yeah you know, it's is it, i mean when you think of what Marvel have done in these movies compared to what DC have been trying to do by rushing everything. Yeah. You've got a real, it feels like there's a logic to Marvel, even with the dark worlds and your Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange to me has been a weak one. But compared to, and you, like you said, you said about First Avenger, whereas DC, it's the real hit and miss. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we, we both agreed there's the Snyder cut of Justice League was fantastic, didn't we? But... It's just a shame that it was never like that all the way through. It's yeah. kind of sporadic, isn't it? Like you say, there's one way you go, oh, I like that one. Or, you know, like, oh, I think Wonder Woman's usually the one everyone agrees was a good one, wasn't it? The first yeah. one. And Joe, it's... For me, I like Birds of Prey. I thought that was, that was yeah. like one of the... I did as well. I don't understand why that was so hated. I th- It just feels like a DC Deadpool to me. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. Oh, it, it, it's that was the one that made me, you know, of the of the DC movies, make me think I want to go and check out the other ones now. Yeah, I, I I really want them to sort of surpass Marvel at one point, just because like Marvel have constantly been the top dog at the moment, and DC has my favorite superheroes in it. So I, I would like to see them get better than them for a little bit. You know, I, no one wants to see them fail, do we? Like they're they're characters we all love, like. But I think they just, Warner just don't really know what to do with them a lot of the time. I think so, it might change with the Suicide Squad, James Gunn. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think that would be good. If he's got the reins to do what he wants, which it looks like. Yeah. Then, but... He's back with Marvel now, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. he's doing Guardians and Guardians Holiday Special. Ah, uh, Holiday Special is just... You know that's a Star Wars piss take, don't you? It oh, is. I and I think Guardian, I'm looking forward to Guardians 3 because I'm pretty sure they're going to use Adam Warlock as the villain. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be cool. I'm just looking forward to see the family get back together. Yeah. And it's not going to be in Thor, Love and, uh, yeah. Love and Thunder. And, and also the first family as well, for the first time ever. John Watts after he's finished work on Spider-Man. Yeah, and, and my personal one I can't wait for is Blade. The Herschel Alley. Can't wait to see Blade. Oh, I that's be good. That's going to be real good. But I'm, I'm, I'm a huge I'm a Herschel fan ever since yeah, Cotton Mouth. Yeah, same. Luke Cage, so... And Green Book. Green Book's fantastic. Him and uh, Vigo Somethingson. More, oh, Mortensen, yeah. Aragorn. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know... Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean, uh, I go for me. Uh, DC fandom last year that that was a a big thing where they did the big announcement, they're releasing the slate. I thought that was good. And yeah, and I, I mean, what you're saying about DC, you wanting them to surpass Marvel. I mean, if that happens, and Marvel will up their game again, and I think that you do need these two big powerhouses up against each other because that yes. way, if you've got a rivalry going. There's yes. people that are pro DC, some that are pro Marvel. Then you got people like us who are just happy to see comic book movies on the big screen. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. It, it it's the last thing you want is complacency. Yeah. So you've got constant high standards, then maybe we can just break the whole mold of uh, you know cycles. We will have comic book movies and hopefully other genres as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, like it, it in sort of inspires the competition doesn't it when you're kind of like all right they just blew us out of the water let's do something even better and it's it's more of a treat for us as well really isn't it because then you know like like i think the next batman film is going to be amazing oh it will Robert Pattinson. So I, I hope it kind of goes whereas i think black widow is maybe going to be a sort of a middle in by by looks of the trailer anyway uh well we'll, we'll discuss that in a few months yeah yeah, we, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get this in under 10 minutes. So, because uh, we haven't done one of these, this is just a little bit of fun. I'm Stevie W. We've done this in under 10 minutes for the first time in a long while. So, it's the reboot. <laughs> oh, yes. See you soon. Bye. I just thought it would be good to see.